question three. It says continue the pattern with three fourths. Okay, so on your number line, you will still have zero and one for your end points. And it says three fourths. So how many pick marks do I need? Three. Four. Three. Now remember, the number of tick marks is usually one less than the number of spaces. So let's count the spaces. One, two, three, four. So I got it. My denominator? Good. Downstairs. And don't forget to start with zero fourths when you start your fraction. Now it says to show three-fourths, so what I'm going to do is draw an arrow to three-fourths on my number line, okay? What's my denominator? Four. So I will have four columns, which is three lines in each, and it's three vertical lines, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, starting tomorrow, you will be doing this multiplying of fractions in your head to find equivalent yes. fractions, okay? Now, how many do you think I shaved? Three. You're right, it's three. So, these are not unit fractions, are they? No. Unit fractions start with a one. Well, they have one for a numerator, I mean. Now, I know that this is not the method of shading that you prefer, but it's just how we have to do it for right now. And it's okay. You'll, if you look at mine, it's not beautiful. And I really don't like it when it's not perfect, do I? I know. Okay, so we're making fractions equivalent to three-fourths here. So once you have it shaded, go ahead and write three-fourths underneath the first one. Now we're going to continue the pattern. So the pattern was one horizontal line to make two rows. Two horizontal lines. How many rows does it make? Three. Three horizontal lines. Four rows. Four horizontal lines makes five rows. Now, the only thing different here is you're going to take three-fourths times the number of rows. Yes. Yes. So instead of writing like one-third or one-fourth, this is going to be three-fourths times. How many rows do I have, Lily? Two. So three-fourths times two. And that will be, if I multiply straight across, 6 eighths. And I'm circling it to help the teacher find the answer to easier. Okay. The next one. I'm going to take 3 fourths times what, Ethan? One. Times what number? Well, it's actually... Three it's really not three-thirds. Ethan wasn't here when I explained that. If it were three-thirds, so I'm kind of glad you said that, then that would be three-fourths times one. This is actually three-fourths times the number three. I could also write it like this, three-fourths times three. Okay? So it doesn't really mean three-thirds. I want you to, to make sure you know the difference between Three and three thirds. Okay, so three times three nine is, twelfths. and Ethan says the answer is nine twelfths. Okay. All right. So this one. Three fourths times Christian. Three fourths times what? How many rows? Four. Four. So three-fourths times four would be what fraction, Christian? Um, Twelve-sixteenths. 
Okay, and I'm going to have Griffin help me with the last one since he's raising his hand over there. So three-fourths times what, Griffin? Five three. Well, actually, just times five, right? Okay. Good. 